can five actresses simultaneously represent one character on stage? Why does the color pink symbolize childhood and why does black symbolize old age? How did a random meeting in the Paris metro inspire the playwright to write a play and the director to stage it in our program? It's the metro station in France where she happened to be, as she is a Ukrainian who immigrated. Vlada is quite an open director and she is ready to experiment, to stage this material about a woman. You should feel and understand it. My woman is 40 years old. She has already been around the block. To begin with, it was my first performance acting with a female team. Somehow, for me, everything was crystal clear immediately. The popular Ukrainian playwright Pavlo Arye and creative director Vlada Belozirko have staged a new play, Kolori or Colors. The performance was made with the help of the Golden Gate Theatre in Kyiv. The art director of the theatre, Stanislav Zhurkov, traditionally cooperates with directors who like to experiment. There is something in it which warms my heart. A good so the director, Bilozorenko, has chosen material about the fate of a Ukrainian woman who immigrated. The author, Arye, created a complicated and ambiguous piece of work, the structure of which is not similar to traditional plays. The playwright showed the periods of life of the main character through a vast spectrum of different colors with the help of five actresses. The five shades are the stories of love and loss which the main character of the play experienced. At the same time, the play shows the life of the whole generation of Ukrainian immigrants. Over 50 years Years, they didn't become native in foreign countries, but they almost immediately became strangers in their homeland. I got interested in this topic because of its tragedy. And for me, in general, this material is about the 20th century and a woman living in it. She passed through that century, she absorbed it, she broke through it and she reached the very gasp of that century. So how does her fate unfold? But it's not about just some woman, perhaps it's more about women living in the 20th century in the overall scheme of things. When we first read the play, we didn't get how a man could have written something like that. He managed to subtly understand all those women's things. It could be understood because he had a long talk with the director of Lada about every character. That is, each of them is like a person who has good and bad sides, something colorful and black and white, and one thing for sure is that they know all their sharp angles. It was a personal analysis taking into account the color of a certain period in life. Each character was given a name, but it never sounds on stage. You can only read it in the program and on the poster. The name is the shade of color, which depicts the inner state of the same character and the character's memories about different periods of their life. We have a gradation. The smallest one is pink. I play the next role. It's when the main character is 20, 23 years old. Then comes the red character. I smoothly turn into her. After that, Vitalina Bibli plays the violet period of the main character's life. And then the black character, who is simultaneously a white one, appears on the stage. Scenes that have to do with penetration into the depths of the human psyche required the author's concentration and analysis of the character's behavior. To help the viewers understand everything, first of all, the actors must clearly understand it. At every rehearsal, director Vlada Belzorinko tirelessly worked on the smallest nuances of the scene's behavior of the actresses. She came, of course, she had her own vision and she understood what she wanted to say. In general, I would say the performance itself is quite unusual because the first part is difficult for perception. This farcicality, these incomprehensible people, they came from nowhere and the space itself is incomprehensible. As it turned out, the play is based on the real fate of an immigrant woman. The playwright happened to meet her in the Paris metro. She turned out to be an elderly Ukrainian woman who told the story of her life to Pavlo Arye. He met this woman on the subway. He met this black character who heard him speaking Ukrainian. She responded and started a dialogue with him. Of course, this story is all about Pavlo's fiction and further developments. As I understand, she was a charismatic woman with a very strong personality. This is a true story of so many people. 
five actresses play only one character on stage? How does one play the same person in different periods of life, in different situations, with different emotions? How does one justify the delight of childhood, the love of youth, the skepticism of maternity, and the despair of old age accumulated in one's soul? Pink, orange, red, violet, black – all the colors are different, but there are certain similarities in all of them. They aren't simple stones for sure, there are ladies with an attitude. There is stubbornness, bitchness at different ages. There is purposefulness and some kind of dreaminess. It's interesting to play my character. In the first part, before the arrival of the second train, when the characters are within strict limits, there is absolute freedom for my heroine. Meanwhile, the second part is completely different. It actually has some measure of depth. After all, the color by which a woman is named is not the color of her clothing, but her condition and the state of her soul. Well, we made it so, and according to our inner sensation, it was a cycle of the sun, from dawn until noon, and then until sunset. My character is pink. A woman in pink is a composite character. One of the periods of life of the protagonist is her childhood. As she says, my childhood is lit with happiness and darkened by grief. Each character is complicated, but as the role of the violet woman, all these first colors are combined in it. She remembers everything. She remembers her childhood, her youth, and even her maternity. She's in this state, and she still remembers all this. <laughs> Vitalina Bibli played a lot of roles. She embodied bright and memorable characters on stage, and she saw the role of a woman in violet in her own way through the prism of her acting experience. Yes, we move from comedy to tragedy. They always go hand in hand. This is always so in life. Smiles and then tears. We have the same here. A switch from farce in the difficult moment for life. Admittedly, it's quite an abrupt transformation. After playing a comedian on stage, you need to turn into a sick woman. It's a difficult moment for me. And you have to be very tough. And I'm not so tough, right, Lada? <laughs> the creators of the performance deeply analyze the given characters. Each character has their own limits, aspirations, and cherished desires, which helps them to continue living their lives. The actresses believe that in order to play this on that scene, it is necessary to understand what each of the characters wants. That's what she always is talking about. For her, it's just a little piece of life, it's just the beginning. It's about each of these characters. The older they become, the more experienced they get. And my character is pure. She doesn't know what will happen next, therefore everything is good for her. She has parents, she has a family, and she has sisters. So her childhood was lit with happiness. But then the war and hunger broke out. She experienced all that pain at such an early age. It seems to me that my character is the easiest and the most complicated at the same time, because really, on stage, you need to look for a conflict, an object. And now I'm at the peak of my development as a person. Everything is fine with me. What we do is research for the conflict. The actresses said that in addition to rehearsals on stage, they read lots of historical literature, compared and analyzed everything. After all, the roles are not typical. Besides, it's not an easy task to play different states of the soul which belong to one and the same person. At the first rehearsal, we were reading a lot about it, surfing the Internet to learn about what each color symbolizes, what emotional coloring it has, and what it evokes in a person. Taking all that into account, together with Vlada, we created each character. So in this dialogue, we were creating everything, and it was very interesting. Because the form very close to me was born, and it was very accurate in the performance. In fact, it's divided into two psychological parts. The first part is surrealistic, which 
which occurs until the main character recollects and puts together all the pieces of her life's puzzle. And the second part starts when everything falls into place and the whole picture becomes great as a result of this. The topic and the form itself are so complicated that it is necessary to search for existence in each constructed form. There is an extremely complicated form and it needs to be filled so that the audience could understand what we're doing. We're searching for it in everyday performance, at least I am. According to the reviews of art critics, scholars is a puzzle everyone should solve. All the circumstances weren't described by the author of the play. The director came up with them. The main messages are also conveyed with the help of scenery. On the stage there is a railway rag which bumps into the iron curtain, the symbol of the Soviet regime. It deprived some people of the opportunity to leave, while others didn't have the opportunity to come back to their native land. Yulia Zaluchna is a great artist. We worked with her here, and the idea to organize this space appeared. There is a place where she exists and lives those unremarkable last days. And when we hadn't released the premiere yet, I told Pavlo where the scene took place. He said that it was very cool. Pavlo came to see the premiere. As far as I remember, he is in love with this performance, because we dug as deeply as he would have liked us to. That is, each character turned out to be complex and multifarious. Although in the colors performance the social problem of immigrants is raised, according to the director Bilazorenko, together with the actors, she tried to show a person on stage their destiny and inner psychological experiences. Of course, we put more emphasis on the person and on her way of life, because before her death, when she is dying, she realizes that the fact she immigrated and was far away from her motherland isn't the main problem. Although this is very important. But the main thing is that she could not deal with the events her life presented. She simply could not cope with them. Any work is always complicated, it's always difficult to start. Therefore, we, our women's team, tried to figure all that out to understand what was in the head of the main character. In fact, all of us were living inside her, so we tried to figure out everything together. The key to understanding of what is happening on stage is the leitmotiv of the play as defined by the director. During the entire performance, the character in black cannot forgive the pain caused to her. Her resentment against fate, against her life is so strong that she just couldn't take it any longer. And the performance is based on the fact that she recollects everything step by step. So when she recollects everything, this wave covers her with all that pain she has accumulated over many years. And when this wave washes her away, she realizes that she remains alone, naked in front of death. She comes to this forgiveness and lets it all go. And we were staging a performance to make this forgiveness happen. The main message is conveyed with the help of the black shade. It's the period when the person is at the end of their life's journey. It's not easy to play such an old character, both physically and psychologically. What's more, it's the debut of Valeria Bryanska in a professional theater. The actress managed to see the core of the character and her transformations painted the different colors. She definitely found relief and she died because she was cleansed, because she accepted her life, because she recollected everything. She is relieved and she forgives herself, first of all, for the fact that she has been angry with herself. And that's why she leaves and she throws off this wonderstone chain and that makes it possible for her to go behind the iron curtain where she really wants to go. The performance has a lot of meanings and indirect parallels. There are implications and multiple associations in every phrase. How does Vlada Bilazorenko work with all these means of expression? Does she find answers to important questions posed to her by time? Immigration is one of the topics. She didn't seem to feel at home there. She couldn't return to her homeland here. She was left just like that at the crossroads. This railway track symbolizes her waiting for the train, which will take her home. 
But if to be more precise, the train is her death. She returns to those people who died and finds herself in that garden in Bila Tsirkva at home. She will again drink tea with her family. This is exactly what she dreams about. Therefore, I am all the best that she had in her childhood and the burden she carried with her later in life. The response of the audience is very important for actors, as every move, every motion, every word are for the audience, so that they can understand, evaluate everything and draw their own conclusions. It's always interesting when there is a contrast, when viewers first laugh and then cry, or vice versa. When everything is smooth, it's not interesting. Therefore, we try to make the first part as partial, interesting and funny as possible, to give the audience a good laugh and then to make it happen, so that all pieces of the puzzle fall into the place.